Welcome to Helene's Corner. So guys, in our previous vlog, we actually stopped at this Onwe Bonye Junction, okay? So in our today's vlog, we are going to be starting from Onwe Bonye Junction and we are going to drive down to Ishike Junction. That's where the Ebony State University permanent site is. Welcome back again to my channel guys is your girl Helene Konko as usual so please enjoy this vlog in case you don't know this is a trans african highway this road started from enugu no not really enugu it started from lagos so but as in this part of the road why we call it a, this is the enugu abakaleki part of the road guys from enugu you drive to ogoja to ikom to is it info then you get to cameroon that's on this very road it was actually um constructed during the good luck Ebele jonathan's time ahem because the road was in bad state it was rehabilitated during that period of time but you can see from that place that we climb a concrete road that part of the road was bad before the current administration and so he changed this side to concrete road you are going to see where we are going to step down from the concrete road ahead this particular road is the road that i showed you guys in my previous vlog that is connecting sites this particular road okay this is where the road connects to towards international market and as we are going ahead we are going to meet the abakalike international market so from this on ebony junction that we are driving today <clears throat> to isheke junction we are going to climb three different flyovers and those three these lots three parts of a uh, abakaliki international market and then ahead we have lot one part of international market that will be directly on top of the flyover this road was initially bad but our current uh, government fixed it that's why it's now concrete road here instead of quota okay and around that on ebony junction was where we stepped up you can see us we went to pass if you watch the previous vlog we had to go and pass through that filling station because that place was too high so here is where we are going to step down from the concrete road that uh, the current administration just did that's uh, dave omai he just did this road he fixed it because the road were broken before he fixed it if you notice something if you're traveling around this road from enugu you will notice that all the ebony road has been fixed there is no too much a uh, gallop on ebony road like that unlike enugu on so this is abakaleke international market this is going to be the first flyover we are going to climb here okay just opposite the international market this is a uh, lot one part of the international market the site that was close to site is the lot three part of it see that um if you're always following me opposite it is the new park that we are talking about okay this is where they pushed all the whole parks that used to stay in that um uh, ogoja road before no afiko road before they brought them all here and right now the governor is fencing it and if you look at the fence you will see that they finished plastering the back and they are even trying to paint and design it they drew kind of a um, motor park on top of the paint <laughs> you guys know that our governor like colors as usual i wonder the color they are going to paint this one but from here look at it is greenish green and white that's it okay and you can see they are drawing cars on top of it so let's see when they will finish it how it will look like <music> So guys, by our left hand side, you are going to go straight to Centenary City towards the uh, new Abakaleke International Stadium. 
and uh, you can also bus out towards Afik Road as if you're going to the international airport, the new building sites in Kwego. When you take your left, if we are taking our left anyway. So, right now we are moving ahead. We are going to meet the Abakaleki shopping mall. And then it is this side. There is a market that is by our right hand side here. A big market that is for food stuff. That's where they sell food stuff. Okay? And a lot of things. So, let's keep moving. <music> So guys, by our left hand side, you can see that magnificent building, that's the Ebony State Shopping Mall. And then, this is the junction we call the Spera, Spera and Do. okay? Uh -huh. So, this is the second flyover we are going to climb on this road. This is the second. Mind you, the flyovers on this road is about five years the one that uh, Dave Oma is constructing I don't even know if it's more than like that on this Trans-African Highway because this is the second one the third one is at Presco the fourth one is at um, um, what's the name of the place again? Zambo why the fifth one is at Nkalago these five I think it's only a Bonny state that have that kind of number of flyover on the Trans-African Highway I don't know about lagos maybe lagos have if you know that lagos have please drop it at the comment section but we have five like he's just preparing for the future before these flyovers if you see the kind of accident that usually happen on this highway eh? but now people that are going very far they can just fly up why those going within the town can just pass down the road and go to wherever they are going to so we are heading towards um the federal teaching hospital now just up across this bridge after this bridge this is where i usually buy my gas okay i refill my gas here there is a signboard here that is called lopa that's where i like buying my gas then opposite it there is a a new gas plant too that i sometimes buy them whenever i'm driving towards the other side instead of cr crossing to go and buy gas i just buy from the other side too okay then this road you can see some filling stations along the road and we are moving towards federal teaching hospital This is the Federal Teaching Hospital. Beside it, okay, is the National Obstetric and Fistula Center. I don't know if I called the full name well, but that's the that's the name, okay, where they take care of majorly women matter, cancer matter, and a lot of things. Okay, it is the one that, in fact, many people visit this hospital from different parts of Nigeria. And this federal teaching hospital, because of the equipment and lots of things, is even becoming a place, a hospital that you can visit from different parts of Nigeria. You see, find people coming from Lagos, from just to assess this hospital. Even when they have hospital in their in their states, I don't know why they will live there and come over here. Maybe the service here is wonderful. I don't know. Please drop it at the comment section what you think about the hospital. So we are climbing the third flyover that we are going to see on this road, okay? And this one is Presco Junction. This one is at Presco Junction, just uh, beside Presco Campus. So they are no longer there right now, okay? You can see what we are seeing on top of it. So let's keep driving, okay? Let's go. <music> side you can see that building that's a abakaliki abams okay but our right hand side is a filling station here so you know why i remember each time i drive this uh, route i always remember 
that are palms because there is this friend of mine that there was this day we were driving through this route immediately he got to that palms he got angry and i was asking him why are you angry he was like how can people be preparing for people's barrier or so and the way he saw it was not the way me i'm saying it the way me i saw the whole thing is that the man saw a vision that is a business opportunity he saw it that the Igbos respect barrier so much so he took opportunity he used the opportunity very well and people started patronizing him and guys you can't believe the kind of money the owner of this apams has made just for from barrier preparation for that matter as in when people die if we look at it critically people must die and it's not most that you must bury your loved one in a lavish way if you don't have the money please please hold yourself and do a normal barrier once you bury them and that's all but if you have the money and want to spend it anyhow you like that's your business so guys let's hear your thoughts at the comment section what do you have against barrier or for this barrier this apam's way of barrier this obikubana way of barrier that is raining drop it at the comment section let's understand what people are thinking and meanwhile let's keep driving <music>trans african highway we are approaching afiofu afiofu just close to what's the name liberation estate and close to nmpc along that side there's a notification of a uh, good luck abele jonathan's boulevard okay this is the afiofu right now where i usually come to buy abacha if you watch my abacha video okay so this is it okay this is the afio for is still in abakaliki town in a state states so guys um this is um liberation estate area okay so you can see it's opposite liberation estate there's a vocational center there too and then as you move ahead we are going to get to good luck Abele jonathan's boulevard that's nmpc side then after nmpc we get to ishieke junction it is at that ishieke junction by our right that you have the Ebony state university Pump site that is permanent site ahead. This is the boulevard I'm talking about. Okay, beside this is an NPC. You can see it. So during a uh, December period, this road was blocked as at the time they were doing maintenance here. So maybe there is a car that came with high speed because these are bottles that are smashed on the floor here. Came with high speed and didn't know that that road was blocked and fell there. I don't really know what happened anyway. It could be anything. But guys, this is where we are going to end this vlog at a uh, Ishieke Junction, very close to Palm site, okay? Please don't forget to like and share subscribe if you're new thank you for your support love and see you guys in our next one where we are going to start from this ishike junction down to town bye love you thank you for watching helen's canal